Welcome to the Inline Struggle. My name is Chris, and today I have the terrible idea of trying to gut my K2 Naturals in an attempt to extend its life. Like back in October, I couldn't skate them anymore because they hurt, and so I was like, maybe I can do with with the K2 and Natural was pe what people do with the Sebas, and that's to gut them and put a intuition liner in there. So, I'd also like to apologize. I haven't uploaded content for quite a while. I basically took the month of December off, and it was two reasons. One, I got sick. Thankfully, it wasn't COVID, but I just felt horrible. And second was that snow came in a winter time and snow came in full force in Minnesota and I didn't have a P rail or anything and so that's still on my docket to get a P rail going because I really love 2Q's P rail sessions and other people that just have P rail content I really enjoy so stay tuned for that maybe I'll make a video of me building the P rail or I might make a box I haven't decided just yet And I also have some other ideas for other content I can make, so I'll, I'll still be around. I'm just going to have to get creative when it's all snowy outside. So like I said, back in October, I, I couldn't skate these boots anymore. And so, yeah, I saw Hood Panda gutting his Sevas and was like, oh, let's see if I can give this a try. And so just to explain the the K2 Natural. It's a pretty simple boot and about from the 45 degree strap up up all the way through the cuff there's like this little sock. And so right now I'm hacking away at the sock going around and on the bot I'm going around on the bottom where it's sewed on and then it's sewed on the top right above right below that little leather or maybe it's even fake leather kind of upper so I'm snipping away at it, ripping it with my hands. And as I work that out, it's obvious how it's constructed. Or at least it begins to dawn on me that there's just simply memory foam everywhere. And I was expecting something more because it was really hurting my ankle. So it was really surprising to me. I'm like, wow. I'm starting to tear away at, at the foam. It's just like memory foam glued on there. I actually found it easier to just tear it with my hands instead of instead of the little screw baby screwdriver I have there. I saw people using box cutters and I thought that would puncture the boot. I'm working in this area because that's where it was hurting and I was expecting something structural there. So then I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna try to take this whole thing out here as best I can. Go around the sides. really going at it right now to trying to tear it tear it out of there I got a big chunk out but that glue was I'm not even sure what kind of glue it was it was bonded really well with the foam it's really hard to scrape it off so I've spread sped up this footage six times just so you don't have to it took me, you know, like a hour and a half to do this. And so now I'm really confused, so I'm taking off the cuff because I was expecting something structural under the uh, boot. And when I didn't find anything here, I was really confused. But I was feeling pretty successful anyway because I was like, oh, I've gutted it. Let's just show what I've done. So I'm trying to clean it up a little bit. But like I said, I was expecting something structural. So that's the boot. And thanks for watching. 
Um, I really appreciate you, so hopefully there'll be some more content soon. Stay safe and healthy out there. Cheers.